I want to go to sleep and whatnot. I don't know. Can I do it? Probably. I don't know. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally won our seventh badge in Spike Month. And now it is time for us to go straight to, I believe, Hammerlock, because there is one more gym badge that we need to get to. And I know, we're going through the easy routes, and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of cutscenes and whatnot. That's pretty much it. But there's going to be a lot of stuff in between the time we get to the last bit, to the last gym badge. That, you know, it's going to be a fun time and all that crud too. So, yes, we defeated the Spike Month gym leader. And now it is time for us to go straight back to Hammerlock. And, well, there are quite a few trainers waiting for us. We might as well go ahead and, go ahead and just battle them while we're at it. Now, um, let's see. We are still playing Pokemon Sword. Uh, didn't man didn't mind to play Pokemon Shield because it, it it like right now it is a long ways away from where we stopped in Pokemon Sword and Shield so yeah we're gonna have to save that for a little bit later on but do not worry guys I was, I'm still showing the differences between Sword and Shield just right now we're gonna we're gonna have a few consecutive uh, consecutive episodes of Pokemon Sword right now so here we have Maractus and our good old buddy uh, oh wow. <laughs> same Pokemon. Look at that. They're both looking at each other the same, the same like cockeyed look and stuff. So let's see. Uh, Toxicity and Amaractus. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to just go straight for the obvious uh, easy Pokemon right there. And you know what? Let's go with the Bo a Boom Burst. And this is actually going to affect everybody. So here we go. Boom Burst. And that destroy or that defeats Amaractus pretty badly. Toxicity or Toxicity. He's looking like, uh, he's still looking at me all cockeyed. So here we go. Venoshock doesn't do much. And here comes another Venoshock right here. And wow, it's just a Venoshock kind of palooza right now. So let's go right ahead and use a flame wheel to finish Toxtricity off. And well, eh, you know what? Screw it. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon during uh, Toxtricity's turn or whatever his name is, Blitzkrieg. So there it is, we used, we used the Lemonade onto Baconator right here. Baconator is still going to use the Flame Wheel. And there we go, Toxtricity defeated. What now? Okay, more experience points for all of us right there. And well, we defeated both these singers. What is it with the grills, homeboy? Well, I'm actually glad that she's not wearing any grills. Okay, so... Wow, there is a Pokemon right there looking at us all cockeyed and everything. Let's go ahead and grab this. And shake for some Pokemon berries right here. Here's one, a Chopla berry. Here's another one, a Limb berry. And one more does it. And... There it is, a Salic berry. And that is three. Three does it, and well... Let's try and get away from that Pokemon. We'll eventually capture him off screen and all that stuff. So now it is time for us to actually go straight to, you know, this route right here, Route 9 Tunnel. And I think you can battle some Pokemon. What's this? The Earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway away in the same way, nah, not helping. Nah, uh, not really. Now there really isn't a lot to do right here, guys, except for just like, you know, looking at Leon. Figuring out what is shaking, and I gotta skip through these people right here. And well, let's see, going right here, going right here. Man, these people are just like in the way. And well, we're getting through the tunnel, and just like that, really, we got Hop looking at us, and he's like, "This is mad." You know what I? You know what I mean? The loud noise. That's what that's what I'd like to uh, like to know. That noise, it it was like some massive explosion. There was this huge <clears throat> this here uh, this huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon started just started Dynamaxing around me, brazen as you like. Hmm. You don't say. And well, after talking to Hop, here we have a little something right here. Take a look at this news. That's a what the hell? So, Hop just defeated a Berserker right here, or, yeah, I think that's what it is. 
See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? Probably. I don't even know, but that right there is kind of crazy. Lee and his Charger took down a Dynamax Pokemon in a blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this, this, it really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Draven. He should be at the Hammerlock Stadium. Mm, he's probably at Hammerlock. Probably, I don't even know. And, well, we gotta get away from this guy, because he's gonna be chasing us all the way through. And look at this, guys. We're crossing a bridge right here, and look at the mountains right here. Look at that. And, well, before we head on, well, before we get... Before we go anywhere, like I said, there was going to be some Pokemon battles. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch them out and uh, go with Dumbledore right here. And, well, here he is. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. Wow, this kind of sounds like uh, checkers or chest. So here we go. Gentleman Caden wants the battle. And the homeboy is coming out with his Dewblade. And, uh, oh, crud. I think I chose the wrong Pokemon for this one right here. I think I did. Probably. Yeah. Chose the wrong Pokemon for this one. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Baconator right here. Now, it is both a... I would like to say Steel and Ghost type Pokemon. And my first go around in the... Uh, in the Gallo region, I actually had this Pokemon on my team. Very good addition, by the way. And, well, that's not very effective. Here comes the Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel comes in for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And, oh, crud. Here we go, getting hit by, well, whatever move he got, he got us. So let's go right ahead and use another Flame Wheel for the win. And Dewblade has been defeated. I'm happy about that. Look at that. And Michelangelo grows to level 52. And now he's about to come out with a Passimian. And we do not have a flying type Pokemon, but we do have the next best thing, and that is Dumbledore. The psychic and fairy type Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Passimian. Now, I think this is a Pokemon you can actually grab right here in this version. I could be wrong. Comment down below. And here comes a double edge. Good gravy. That was a hard hitting attack right there. So here comes a Psyshock. Can it do it? Will it do it? And there we go. Passimian has been defeated. There goes its uh, big old watermelon right there. And, well, who's next? Poltergeist or Polter uh, Poltergeist. Or I don't even know how to pronounce that name. So let's go to Michelangelo. Let's see what can actually happen with this guy right now. Whew! Man, it has been a long night. Trust me, guys, I've been recording all day, and uh, this happens to be part of the list right here. And, uh, well, like I said, guys, I'm only doing this. I'm coming out with so many walkthrough videos because I'm treating this YouTube kind of like if it was a TV station, like many other uh, YouTubers out there. Many of you guys might have a t different taste of a different game. That's why I'm giving you, uh, giving you guys as many walkthroughs as possible right here. And, well, we defeated Homeboy right here, and, well, we got another tent looking at us right here. Now, I do believe this is this was the area we couldn't pass through while we were at, uh, well, at Hammerlock. We already defeated those guys right there, so let's see. There must be an, us yeah, there must be an, uh, an item right here. Let's see what this is. Trainer tips. If you want to stop Pokemon from evolving, press B while it's trying to evolve. The Pokemon will be startled to stop evolving. This trick is called Evolution Cancel. That is true, and look at that. We got ourselves a tree. Look at this. Okay, so let's go ahead and shake it up, see if we can actually get some uh, very, very, very good berries right here. There's two, and here we go again, number three, and say goodbye. Okay, so there we go, and well, let's see. What else, do we, what else can we find right here? I don't know. Probably nothing. And yes, we found an item right here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a pair of safety goggles. This right here is an item that uh, to be held by a Pokemon. These goggles protect the holder from both weather-related damage and powder. Okay. That's cool. That is something nice to know. That way we can actually not get pelted by a hail anymore or, you know, just a sandstorm or whatnot. And let's see. There is a Galvantula. I think we've already got one 
you know, we've already evolved one and stuff, and still looking through everywhere. That way, we can actually grab some items right here, and well, look at this, guys. We are finally here in Hammerlock. As you guys may know, this is the last place, the last gym. The last gym battle is right here, and well, trust me, guys, there... They, right there, you're gonna be finding a lot of strong Pokemon. Now we have to actually, we have to actually ride our bike to get to where we need to be because there's another cutscene around here. And well, hold on, hold your horses. We found ourselves a dire hit. Nice. And well, here we have our good old buddy Hop. Not really our good old buddy, but you know what I mean. Well, if it isn't Draven. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard Leon. You looked, uh, you took down the Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion, after all, but what all is going uh, on here? An overflowing red light, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going on. The red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is a part of the scientist's work. Would you look at that? It's Sonia's grandma. Gran? The chairman called me for, uh, called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomena. Did the chairman know any uh, know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in a fretting over the future of our energy. Apparently, he's left everything to the executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking in, into things, Sonya. You know more about you know more you know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying the red light and the darkest day are connected? Oh damn, she's petrified. Hey, do you reckon that there's something we could do to help out? Eh, of course there must be. Oh well. Leon's right here. He's like, thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you is, uh, uh, ask for you, or ask of you would be that you join in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everyone's future safe. So you just keep on uh, doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Okay, here we go again. Right, of course, you're the unbeatable champion. Grant, there is something I wanted to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Oh, wow. <laughs> Naturally. Oh, yeah. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. Well, Hop is like, I know what I need to do. All right. Defeat Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah? Draven. Ryan's, uh, Ryan's a, a tough nut to crack. Huh. A tough nut to crack. And, well, of course, the last gym is going to be right here. Now, there is a little something that I kind of want to do before we take on the Hammerlock Gym. And that is, we got to go back to the wild area, guys. And this is not this is not a must. This is more of like something, uh, how would I like, to, I like to call it? A little side quest. Because now that we are able to actually ride around the water and stuff... We're not just going to be going through the wild area, but we're going to be going through areas where there's waters, bodies of waters, and just grab stuff and all that crud. It's probably going to be like an hour or two long episode. Who knows? But in the meantime, yes, some of my Pokemon will be going through Pokemon jobs. I'm already starting to see right here what levels uh, Ryan's team is going to be. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one right here. So yeah. We're going to have to wait a few eh, a few days before we even battle Ryan right here. So, thank you once again, guys, for uh, watching this episode. I am sorry that it was short. Short and sweet and all that crud. But, it's going to be a fantastic one in the next one. When we go through the wild area and start discovering new things around that area. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.